Hey everybody, I'm here with Amy from the Amazing Dirty Gourmet team and Dylan from the Amazing REI team and we are here pretending to car camp. Why? Because it's one of our favorite things. When you car camp, you can bring all of the comforts from home, yet you combine them with fresh air and the great outdoors. Speaking of great, Amy, what are you making today? I am making a skillet lasagna. <laughs> this is one of my favorite car camping recipes because it's super simple, but it's also really impressive. Nobody ever thinks that you could make a lasagna entirely on the stovetop, but you can, and it's easy. Definitely something I would not have attempted. Same. But, I mean, it really is amazing what you can do with a, a camping stove and a quality skillet. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do we get started? Well, we'll get started by pouring some marinara sauce in the bottom of a deep skillet. Mm. You want a pretty thick layer of sauce so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Yeah. Next, we're going to layer in some lasagna noodles. So I'm using no-boil lasagna noodles so that I don't have to cook them ahead of time. It makes it truly a one-pot meal, which is really nice for camping. Love that. Who wants to do extra dishes? Love that, yeah. So you'll have to kind of break them up to get them to fit in the... Yeah. <laughs> in the skillet. Nice. But that's easy enough. Yeah, that's kind of fun. You could have kids help with that or anything. Yeah, you just want a, a single layer of noodles in there. Great. Dylan has been cutting some zucchini. I sure have. Nice. You could use any vegetables that you like here. You just want to make sure to cut things pretty thinly and uniformly so that it cooks. Everything cooks at the same time and Yeah, evenly. yeah. You did a great job, Dylan. Oh, thank you. I was a little worried my uh, chopping skills might have been a little under <laughs> They're perfect. We'll invite you back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks beautiful. On top of that, I'm gonna put some spinach. Nice, so this is looking great and looking vegetarian. If I wanted to customize this or add meat, what do I do? Well, it's super easy. It's a really adaptable recipe, so you could put whatever you want in it. If I were going to add meat, I would just bring it from home and brown it in the skillet before I start assembling my lasagna. Okay. Um, good. Let's see, we need some cheese in here, don't you think? Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> What's lasagna without cheese? Oh, really? So I have some ricotta here. I'm gonna just dollop that in. Looks great, you just cannot have too much cheese in my no. book. There you go, and this is a? This is a blend of Parmesan and mozzarella. Mm, wonderful. So you can just keep layering this until you get to the top of the skillet. Well, I am getting really hungry. Should we have Dylan keep doing that? Yeah. <sighs> Let's put Dylan to work. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I'll give you some of this. All right. Well, lucky for you, Erin, you don't have to wait for this one to be done because I already made one. I know how hungry you get. I do hate waiting. Emily, can you bring this? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Noodles got some, uh, some crack to them. They do. That's kind of a fun <laughs> like job. Like Oh this. my goodness, look <laughs> at that. Fresh basil here to garnish it with. It smells so good. Oh, it does. It smells awesome. Really, I can't believe we made this and we're outside. I can say that the All Recipes audience loves their lasagna. So let's step it up, people. Let's get outdoors and eat outdoors. You guys want some? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I gotta take a bite here. Is it passed? Oh, Did it think, pass? oh my gosh, it's just as good as grandma's. <laughs> you all gotta try this. Mm. There you go. See ya.